Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this video I'm gonna show you how to go from this to this. I'm gonna show you the simplest way to remove the unwanted objects from your photos in Photoshop in a few simple steps and this will be real easy. You can do it on any picture you get and this is gonna be one of the best way to remove those objects. There is lots of other things you can do to get those objects removed but this is gonna be the real simple one and so let's go get started. So I have prepared a few different pictures here. So let's see this one here. You see this little beautiful bug that landed on my hand one day and I'm like wow this is such a nice beautiful bug. You know the bugs could be beautiful too. I really liked it and I took a picture of it but what if you want to delete it? What if we want to remove it from the photo and so we don't have it anymore? Well, that can be done pretty easy. So what we gotta do, we just gotta open up Photoshop. So you just gotta right click on the photo and then choose open with Photoshop. And I'm using 2020 version. This is like the brand new version, even though it says 2019 for some reason, I don't know why. Maybe because they, it's like cars and they get 2020 and 2019 and 2021 and 2020 but anyway so once you get this window pop up you can just click ok we're gonna just use the same profile I'm not gonna change it so and as you can see here we got this beautiful green bug and we just want to take it off the picture and have it removed from the picture so that it's no more there the first step you got to do you got to make sure that the layer that you have you can click on the layers left click and then you get this uh, different layer. So the background, make sure it's locked. Make sure the lock sign is on so that we can work on it properly. The next thing you gotta do is just gotta choose this lasso tool and just left click on it. And then just start going around this little green bug. You don't have to make it perfect. All you gotta do is just gotta follow around until it meets there and then you just gotta let it go. And as you can see this area highlighted and then you just gotta press delete and there is a window that pops up so what you gotta do you just gotta make sure the content it says content aware and this is gonna make the rest of the image that you're gonna delete it's gonna just fill fill it with the colors that are just matching around it and you can also leave the check mark against color adaptation and yeah, just gotta press OK and watch the magic. There you go. <laughs> like it wasn't even there. So yeah, like especially if you just kind of make a picture smaller, you will never ever see it there. This is the real simple method and it's only taking like a few seconds to do it. Even if you highlight it, like even if you zoom it up, like I could barely tell there was anything there. And if you want to see how it was before, you can go to this symbol here and then you can go to history and we can just make it a little bit bigger there you go this is how it was this is how it became so yeah guys so it's real simple it only takes a minute to do it and I find it works pretty good on the most occasions sometimes if you have to delete like a huge object like that's taking half of your picture it's it can you know make the colors funny and the lines not aligning pretty good but you can still work it out and just make it like do it a few different steps and it's gonna just uh, correct it. Okay, so that was the method number one. That's if you want to remove just one single object or like a, if you wanna spend more time and do this one after another. But let's see what if we have this, for example, this beautiful cake and we put some berries on it that we don't like and we just wanna remove them. How are we gonna do that? even though you can just go manually and just take one after another well that's gonna take some time so I'm gonna show you a simple method how to do this real quick and easy so same thing here just gotta right click on it open it with Photoshop again and it's gonna leave the same profile as well we're just gonna minimize this so it doesn't take much room Though this image is not too big, then you can just uh, make it bigger so we can see it here better. Okay, so as you can see here, we got this beautiful cake. It's really tasty, by the way. 
but uh, anyway we just want to remove these berries and we could apply the same method I just showed you in part number one but you know you can do this and it's just gonna take too long you have to like circle this and then you just gotta press delete and then you just gotta wait and then you gotta do this one so it's just taking way too long so I don't want to do that so for this job we can use a beautiful tool called a spot healing brush tool and it's located in your toolbar here sometimes it's not in the toolbar so you can just find it here if you go down all the way and then you just right click it there is a whole bunch of tools here you can choose from so we got it here in the toolbar and I'm just gonna choose it after you choose this uh, spot healing brush tool you can go up here and choose the size that you need if you have the big spots you gotta cover like let's see what we got so we got this this is pretty much a perfect size yeah they all kind of yeah they all kind of go in that uh, little circle so yeah this is perfect and then over here you can choose the hardness that's gonna just determine how much of a uh, edge you're gonna get like is if you choose a hundred percent hardness it's not gonna it's gonna be pretty sharp edge and if you go to 0% hardness it's just gonna be like a cloud you know like it's gonna be fluffy so yeah we're just gonna go and uh, make it 100% because that's pretty straightforward we don't need any fluffy edges so all right let's see this magic here so once you get like lots of spots you get to remove so let's just go ahead and do this click on this bam done click on this done and you get a little spot here you can just correct that as well done so, and then you just gotta keep doing this and you can go a couple times over sometimes you can see like there is little spots there that are not perfect you know it's not perfect but it's it's that's the cake <laughs> so I don't know why we're doing this with the cake but you know that's I, I, I thought it would be a good example how to you know how to remove stuff you can use it on anything basically but oh you see like so in this case when you get stuff like that you can either go around you can just like do like this and brush it and just gonna disappear or you can choose a bigger circle brush and then you don't have to worry about it. so if you choose this one well that one's gonna work for sure so basically what it does is Photoshop is removing the object that you cover with the with this brush tool and it just takes the colors and takes the texture of the objects that are next to it and it fills it with those colors and those objects with those textures so you can see here we got all this removed pretty quick so on this one here will be real hard but we can try to do this right now here and see what it does see it's kind of like cut out the edge so I don't like that much you know so I'll probably go bigger now we'll just make a smaller brush and cover this one this, this one's done so and we're just gonna do this one done so I think that's pretty good so one cake is done some of them parts gonna be hard to reach so yeah well you get an idea so how to do this that's this is pretty much it so all you gotta do is just clean it and look at that so we're just gonna go to history back and so this is how it was and this is how it is so yeah as you can see there's uh, quite a difference and it doesn't take long it's real simple so it's probably gonna take a few minutes to do that so you can always use this tool next time you need to remove some object from the pictures that you have taken and that you don't want to be on the picture yeah this is it guys if you find this video helpful please don't forget to click the like button don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash that notification bell so you don't miss other videos actually there is a playlist here i'm gonna put in the upper right corner for the photoshop videos if you're interested to learn more videos about how to use photoshop and i'm putting out the most simple things that you might need in your everyday life that you can apply you know in your videos or if you want to just you know edit your photos that's gonna be real simple nothing complicated so yeah hopefully you guys like this and if you do i'll see you in the next video all right bye bye